और उसका अगर नेगेटिव लॉग ले लो नेगेटिव लॉग बी मीन्स नेगेटिव लॉग तो नेगेटिव लॉग मीन्स दिस थिंग दैट इट्स पी एच प्लस पी ओ एच इज इक्ल फोर्टीन आई मीन दिस इंटायर थिंग यू टेक द नेगेटिव लॉग ऑफ दिस यू गेट फोर्टीन ओवे है and you get uh e negative log of h plus 1 and negative log of oh minus 1 you get ph plus poh and the other thing is that we did uh weak acids weak acids come in that tha ke they always ionize in this way they produce one h plus one ion and uh so uska expression ban jayega it's going to be acha so it's going to become uh H plus one over x minus one divided by H x. These two ions have exactly the same concentration, so your expression actually changes to the numerator that changes to H plus one squared. That's your formula. So I'll just uh, I'll just do more questions uh, related to this. We did some of the questions, so you will have to think of this one. Now, uh, I just the questions are pretty standard. See, they're pretty similar. Uh, so here's another weak acid. So what is the what is the uh, equilibrium constant for this? It's going to be called dissociation constant. K is going to be H plus one concentration into uh, ion minus one concentration, and it's going to be divided by uh, H ion. That's your that's your acid. ठीक है तो ये K C है. It's uh, K C for this reaction. That's K dissociation constant. Since uh, this reaction also has the same format, that it it is producing H plus one ion. This one was already. Yes, sir. अच्छा वो कह रहे हैं क्वेश्चन लेट्स लुक एट इसिंग के वैल्यू फॉर फिनॉफ दिस फिनॉफ थिंग ठीक है व्हाटेवर दिस इस द के वैल्यू इस फाइव टाइम्स टेन पर माइंस टेन इस ऑलरेडी गिवन द वैल्यू फाइव टाइम्स टेन टू द पावर माइंस टेन and he has also told us the ph of this thing that uh, the ph is approximately 8.8 so ph is given that's 8.8 what can you do with the ph with the ph what is ph ph is the minus log of the concentration of h plus 1 ions and that is 8.8 so what is you can figure out the h plus 1 concentration So H plus one concentration is the uh, take the negative log. It, it's going to become log of minus eight point eight. Okay, take the negative sign to the other side, and then take the anti log. Like what did log do? It expresses values in the powers of ten, so it's going to be ten power minus eight point eight. Okay, calculator ke upar na it's just uh, when you want to take anti log, just press shift and log, and you'll get the anti log. So, anyways, when you whenever you're given pH, uh, what you can find out in the expression is you can find out uh, the H plus one concentration using pH because pH is minus log of H plus one. That's eight point eight minus go the ledger. That's minus eight point eight. Take the anti log, uh, express it back as a power of ten. That's ten power minus eight point eight. You can remember how to go back from taking minus log or skip the inverse log. How do you take that? Take it. So, uh, so you've gotten, and you need the value for this. Its uh, key value will be ten power minus eight point eight. That's uh, so. I'll just shift, press log. I'm taking the anti log, and it's minus eight point eight. So I'm going to get a very low concentration, which is one point five nine times uh, ten to the power minus nine. ये वाली बात क्लियर है अलीशा एना इज दिस क्लियर सीट क्लियर है सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड एच प्लस वन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन तो ठीक है वी फाउंड द एच प्लस वन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ही इज सेइंग बेस्ड ऑन द डेटा दैट्स गिवन कैलकुलेट द रेशियो ऑफ आई एन माइनस वन टू एच आई एन माइनस वन सो So all I need to do is I need to find what this ratio is. I n minus one over h i n. So all I need to do is I need to get the get the h plus one to the other side. So it's going to be i n minus one concentration, and it's going to get divided by h i n concentration, 
and that's equal to 5 times 10 power minus 10 divided by h plus 1 concentration and we know what the h plus 1 concentration is the h plus 1 concentration we just calculated okay the ph was given that's 8.8 .8. so this h plus 1 concentration is actually uh, 1.59 times 10 power minus 9 so we'll figure out the ratio and you just have to figure this out uh, so it's going to be I said this multiplied by five uh, exponent minus 10. So I think I'm getting point C1, I'm getting point, I'm getting point C150 point C15. And that's, so that's my answer. Is this question clear? Okay, remember it's the same expression. We product concentration divided by reactant concentration, and you just uh, value was given. H plus one you were able to figure out by. H plus one you were able to figure out using pH. You clear? It? Yes or no? Is this clear? So. So, ये जो H वाला वर्ड है सर इसमें कंफ्यूजन है मैं थोड़ा सा ऑफलाइन था उस वक्त कनेक्शन का इशू था कि वो एंटी लॉक किस साली है हाँ सर वो साइन चेंज में इस वो नहीं वो हमने कल डिस्कस किया था ना व्हाट इस पीएच पीएच इस द नेगेटिव लॉग ऑफ द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ एस पर सुन रहे हैं ये क्लियर है यस तो प that's just the negative log of concentration of H plus 1. Negative sign would have taken it. So now it's log of H plus 1 concentration equals minus 8.8, 8, right? Is that clear? Yes, sir. So just anti-log, right? No, no, it's, it's log to finish. How, how do you remove log? Uh, log expresses values in the powers of 10. So if you finish log, karoge, so it's going to be 10 power minus 8.8. 8. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You must have to take the log of the log. If you want to take the anti log, it's going to become, if it's minus 8.8, .8, it's going to become 10 to the power minus 8.8. .8. Yes, sir. I said next one, uh, in case people get us, we did, we'll just stick to k at the moment. Okay, so I said, here's another question the k value is given. Okay, and this is uh, what it's a uh, bromic one acid, HOBR. I said now it's a since it's an acid, it's going to release uh, an H plus one and it's going to produce another ion which is OBR minus one. I'll share it. I said it's the same equation HX, H plus one, some random negative ion X minus one. See, so it's, it's the same reaction. You can write the expression for K, which is what it's going to be. Achha, it's going to be uh, H plus one concentration times OBR minus one concentration and divided by the concentration of HOBR. Or you can, what you can do is since both ions will have the same concentration, so what you can also do is it's going to be H plus one squared divided by the HOBR concentration. Since both ions have equal concentration, so instead of writing OBR minus one, you can just square H plus one. I said the answer is known. That's two times ten power minus uh, nine. He's asking you to calculate pH. The concentration of HOBR is also known. This thing is known. That's uh, zero point two mole per dm cube. So that means h plus 1 squared is going to be equal to 2 times minus 9 and that's going to get multiplied by 0.2 well let's go solve you just have to find out h plus 1 uh if you want to get rid of the square over here you would have to under root the whole thing sir, uh, sorry what was a the uh, last question was, sir, a little issue to solve. Yeah. 
सो so, पिछला क्वेश्चन जो था या सर इसके अंदर सर ये जो के की तरफ जो है वो वो मुझे आ, उसके अंदर वैल्यू गिवन है लेकिन जो आपने कैलकुलेट किया वो मुझे सही से समझ नहीं खत्म तो उसे क्वेश्चन में क्या कहे फाइंड द रेशियो ऑफ i 1 ओवर h i 1 तो ये दोनों निकालने की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट हैव टू फाइंड द रेशियो दो इसी एक्सप्रेशन को बस चेंज कर दो इसे इस पर्सन को उठा के तो नीचे ले आओ इज दैट क्लियर यस सर थैंक यू सर आई सेड दिस वन वापस इस पे आ जाओ कि क्या करना है इट्स 2 टाइम्स n पर माइनस sin 2.2 और फिर इसका ना यू हैव टू टेक अंडर रूट तो अंडर रूट लेते हो तो आई गेस आई एम गेटिंग टू टाइम्स टेन फॉर माइनस फाइव ये भी वैसे चेक कर लेना आई एम गेटिंग टू टाइम्स टेन फॉर माइनस फाइव मोर पर टीम क्यूब अच्छा दैट्स एच प्लस वन ही इज नॉट आस्किंग फॉर एच प्लस वन ही इज आस्किंग फॉर द फॉर द पीएच द पीएच क्या होगा इट्स द नेगेटिव लॉग ऑफ द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ एच प्लस वन सो इट्स गोइंग टू � Two times ten power minus five. What do you get for that? So, as a negative log or the minus sign Q. Four point seven zero are it? उसको आप भी लिख सकते हो एंड यू कैन आल्सो राइट इट एज स्क्वायर सही है सर सर आपके लेक्चर्स है YouTube पर अभी अवेलेबल है और सही वाले मैं इस हाँ, वो शीट शेयर कर दूंगा उसके अंदर लिख होंगे सारे ठीक है ओके सर अच्छा नेक्स्ट वन जस्ट दीस क्वेश्चंस वन सेकंड अच्छा हियर इज अनदर वन कि देयर इज अ वो कह रहा है कि There's this ammonium chloride, which is 0.3 mole per dm cube. So that means you know the concentration. I said this is the same equation. Uh, I said this is 0.3 mole per dm cube, and the pH is given. That's 4.89. Okay, so I'm going to write the expression for K, which is K, K is equal to uh, H plus one concentration into NH3 concentration. And it's going to be divided by. I say it's going to be divided by NH4 plus one concentration. So that's K. K. Did he give the value of K? He did not. I'm saying calculate the H plus one concentration. First part. I said first part has nothing to do with it. He's saying calculate the H plus one concentration. We know the pH. Uh, the first part means it's got to be five. Five than here. Because the pH is given. That's given as four point eight nine. So what is pH? That's minus log of the concentration of H plus one. So you're supposed to calculate the H plus one concentration. That's four point eight nine. Sine would have to be less or minus four point eight nine. H plus one will become. If you remove the log, it's going to become ten to the power minus four point eight nine. And that on my calculator will be. I said ten. To the power minus four point minus four point. I think it's wrong. I should have went to log. Sorry, shift log. 
minus 4.89 and I'm getting 1.2829 colors and so I'm getting 1.29 times uh, 10 to the power minus 5. That's a mole per DMU. That's going to be the concentration of. Or say, calculate the value of PK of the ammonium ion using this. So, K ko kisa lex, I think. K can be written as uh, H plus 1 squared divided by the acid uh, joint is 4 plus 1. Uh, uski, it's concentration. So we already calculated the H plus 1, which is 1.29 times 10 power minus 5. Okay, the pH was given. So, so it's going to be 1.29 times 10 to the power minus 5, and it's going to be squared. And the whole thing will be divided by the ammonium ion concentration, which is well, ammonium ion ki jo concentration that's given as 0 0.3. And you'll get the value of, actually, you'll get the value of K. So, isko karna hai square. Uh, as a square, and then it's going to be divided by a point. Point C. So, not really. Sure. So, I'm getting five point. I'm getting five, you could confirm five point five three times Alicia. And now, let's see if anyone. I'm getting 5 point, Siddha, can you confirm this? 5.53 times 10 power minus uh, 10. And remember the unit for K is mole per dm cube. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. Achha, but he's not asking for K, he's asking for PK. So basically PK would be P, kis -kis stand karta. that's negative log of this thing. So it's going to be negative log of, that's, it's going to be negative log of this thing. So. 5.53 times 10 power minus 10. I said, make sure don't round off things on your calculator. So, log line is uh, so log off this thing. And I guess this comes out to be 9.26. Okay, that's 9.26. That's going to be the PK value for whatever this acid is. Okay. So the ammonium ion is acting as an acid. It's the same. It ionizes, produces an H plus one and produces some other random stuff, X minus one. Clear a question. Yes, sir. Asha, so, KW again, so now he's saying KW. Can uh, I show you? Calculate the H plus one in pure water under standard conditions. So uh, use the value of KW. Wait a second. Did he give us the value of KW anywhere? I guess. Uh, I mean, we know the K value of KW. He's saying use the value of KW. As this is how water ionizes. So you just have to show all of this that water ionizes produces two ions H plus one and OH minus one, and uh, and the thing is, KW is what? It's H plus 1 concentration times product concentration uh, divided by reactant concentration. But since everything is aqueous, so water is taken as 1. I said that's KW. Uh, when it's pure water, then the amount of ions of H plus 1 that will be produced and the amount of ions of OH ions will be produced that will be exactly the same. So that means KW has a value of concentration x multiplied by con ki concentration exactly same okay and we know what the value is in uh, under standard conditions we know that kw has a value of 1 times 10 power minus 14 or kw jo na, that's mole squared dm minus 6 i mean kw expression is concentration times concentration so it's 1 times 10 power minus 14 uh so, okay, find the concentration of uh, H plus 1. So, you just have to find X. So, what is X? It's going to be X squared is equal to this thing. So, it's going to be 1 times 10 power minus 14. And 
one time seven by minus fourteen, and that gets under rooted. So what you basically get is uh, one time seven by minus seven. Okay, that's one time seven by minus seven. That's what you are going to get. And to ye dumne pehli kya hota? This is uh, exactly. What we've already done in the notes, okay? So he's just asking us to kill the amount of water constant. So he's just asking us to. So he's just asking us to derive this. So just remember, okay, pure water can have the concentration of uh, H plus one under standard conditions. And I'll I'll write this down. This this is only true. This is only true if the conditions are standard. Okay, if the temperature is higher, water will ionize even more. So the amount of H plus one and the amount of OH ions that are, that will be produced will be more, and you'll have a bigger value of Kc at higher temperatures. Okay, just remember, okay, it's an equilibrium reaction that, and its values are equilibrium constant, and that changes with temperature. Temperature is the only thing that changes there. अच्छा फिर वो कह रहे थे वो वही हुआ है the pH of pure water at fifty centigrade is six point six four. Calculate the numerical value of Kw. So now you're not using standard conditions. So water ionizes and it produces uh, H plus one and OH ions. And again, both of the ions will be produced in exactly the same quantity. Now what we can do is, since the pH is given, we can use the pH to figure out uh, the H plus one concentration. So This is negative log of concentration of H plus one ions, and that's going to be six point six four. Either plus कर दो, either minus कर दो. H plus one will become uh, the H plus one concentration will become ten to the power minus six point six four. And in pure water, the concentration of H because it, it is pure water, so water will ionize. Both ions will have exactly the same concentration. So, if this is ten to the power minus six point six four mole per dm cube, then this will also be ten to the power six point six four mole per dm cube. You clear? But is this part clear? Yes, sir. So, baki ye karna ki you just have to uh, put in the Kw expression, which is what is Kw? It's uh, H plus one concentration times uh, OH ion concentration. So all you have to do is uh, so it's ten to the power minus six point six four times ten to the power minus six point six four. But the square will get. So what do you? What is the new value for Kw now? Okay, you've changed the temperature. I remember, it's the same constant, sir. You change temperature. That's the only way the value will change. I say K minus six point six four, and I would have to square this. So what I'm, what I'm getting is five point five point two five, and that's ten is per minus fourteen. And the unit, remember the unit. It's a uh, mole squared. Again, don't forget to write the unit. Concentration times concentration will give you this unit. Mole squared dm minus six. So, ye kya abhi have question aage, theek hai? Aaja, what else do we have? Uh, here's another one, and he's saying that. Uh, Aaja, remember, wo phir se wohi aage. Okay, when you have a diprotic acid, remember it's going to act as two acids. It's going to ionize first. It's going to release an H plus one. Then HSO four minus one ion is produced. That will release the second H plus one. So it's it's basically behaving as two different acids because they're two completely different species that are releasing H plus one ions. It's going to be a lot harder for for the negative ion to release H plus one. That's going to be a weak acid. So write the expression for uh, for K two. ठीक है दैट्स सो एवरी डिसोसिएशन विल हैव अ डिफरेंट डिसोसिएशन कांस्टेंट 
क्योंकि पहला वाला आयनाइज ज्यादा होगा क्योंकि इट्स न्यूट्रल द सेकंड वन इट्स अ नेगेटिव आयन सो इट्स हार्डर टू एक्चुअली लूज h+1 आयंस द एक्सप्रेशन क्या होगा इट्स गोइंग टू बी h+1 कंसंट्रेशन इनटू SO4 minus 2 concentration and the whole thing gets uh divided by h it gets divided by h so 4 minus 1 concentration and you seeing h2o4 so is considered a strong acid where h2o4 so minus 1 is considered a weak acid suggests how the magnitude of the acid dissociation constant for stage 1 compares to k2 so you're looking for the magnitude of the acid dissociation constant the first one is stronger so that means more products will be produced so that means it's its k will be bigger kyunki product over reactants hota hai so it's going to be it's going to be a bigger k so k1 uh will be bigger than k2 because he is not asking for an explanation you just have to suggest how the magnitude will compare so k1 will be bigger than k2 is this clear this part yes sir so our case make it so again we've got a weak acid and there is a solution ph2.9 calculate k4 ha ji सर अगर हम लोग स्टेटमेंट वाइज लिखते हैं कि k1 इज ग्रेटर देन या इस तरह से कुछ लिखा होता है कि इट इज मच स्ट्रांगर तो इससे कुछ मार्क रिडक्शन तो नहीं होगी नहीं इधर तो बस स्टेट करना है ना कि व्हाट इज द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द फॉर स्टेज 1 और वो लिख दो कि क्लियर कर लो कि दिस इज फॉर स्टेज 1 तो दैट्स इट बट अगर अगर तो आपकी जो स्टेटमेंट है इट्स क्लियरली टेलिंग व्हाट द आंसर इज देन इट्स फाइन आई मीन वब स्टेटमेंट के फॉर्म में हो या किसी भी फॉर्म में हो तो मीन दिस क्लियरली टेल्स यू के इट्स बेगर देन के इट वो राइट सो अनलेस देर सम डाउट कि वो आपकी जो स्टेटमेंट है वो वेग है देन देन यू हैव एन इशू और प्लस इज नॉट आस्किंग फॉर एन एक्सप्लेनेशन सो यू जस्ट हैव टू स्टेट अ फैक्ट अच्छा अगला वाला बेंजो एक आंसर अच्छा नाउ आई विल बी क्विक है ठीक है व्हाट आई विल डू इज के व्हाट इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर के इट्स इट्स एच प्लस 1 स्क्वायर्ड divide by the uh divide by the acid concentration so i'm i'm just going to apply the formula directly all, all i need is uh the ph is given so i need to do the whole ph thing ph will 2.9 remember be quick dk you have to save time so h plus 1 will be do it in one step is 10 power minus 2.9 मतलब पहले तो हम वो कर रहे थे ना कि इट्स लॉग में करते थे देन वी वुड सॉल्व इट सो रिमेंबर द क्विक मेथड इज पीएच इज 2.9 एस प्लस ऑन स्टेंट पर माइनस 2.9 दैट्स इट ठीक है मतलब कीप आई मीन इफ यू कैन कीप दिस इन माइंड और ऑल्सो यू कैन यू कैन डू द होल थिंग के बीच में वो स्टेप्स माइनस लॉग ऑफ एस प्लस ऑन इज 2.9 टेक द नेगेटिव साइन टू द अदर साइड और सिंपल जस्ट बी डायरेक्ट पीएच इज दिस एस प्लस ऑन इज 10 टू द पावर माइनस 2.9 दैट्स इट अ So this is ten power minus two point nine, and that's squared. And the acid concentration is given, which is uh point zero two five. Okay, yeah, that's also provided. It's point zero two five mole per dm cube. So this will solve. Per look, what will happen? Shift log minus two. Point nine. Acha, usko karna hai square, and uh, then the whole thing gets divided by one zero two five. So I'm getting six point c four. So the answer is six point c four times ten to the power minus five. Okay, this answer again. अच्छा केपी का क्वेश्चन आ गया ए टू के अंदर केपी ठीक है बिकॉज ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑफ केपी व्हाट इज केपी इट्स द सेम थिंग इट्स अ प्रेशर ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स सो प्रेशर ऑफ एनओ वाश प्रेशर ऑफ एनओ2 
and divide by the partial pressure of uh, let's say divide by the partial pressure of N2O3. So partial pressure of N2O3. What is the so what he's using atmospheres. So I'm going to give the unit in atmospheres. It's going to be Eek atmosphere as I got. It's going to be atmosphere into atmosphere divided by atmospheres. So it's going to be ATM. Now he's saying there's a 1 dm cube flask at 25 centigrade is filled with pure N2O3 at an initial pressure of 0.6. At equilibrium, the partial pressure of NO2 is 0.48 and calculate the partial pressure of NO and N2O3 and calculate the value of KP. So, as I remember, first thing. Pressure and moles are directly proportion. But the moles are the pressure is the same. There will be more collisions, right? Moles come on, pressure will be less. So remember, treat pressure is the same as moles. Now you're going to make a table. It's N2O3, and that's an equilibrium with the uh, NO and NO2. So what's going to happen is that uh, what's going to happen is the initial pressure. He's saying that initially there's a one dm cube flask and the pressure is 0 0.6 atmospheres for this. And NO does not exert any pressure. NO2 does not exist any pressure. So that means initially there is no NO and there is no NO2. You can remember pressure is directly proportional to moles. Moles will the pressure, hoga. moles will the pressure. Nahi hoga. So then he says that at equilibrium, the partial pressure of NO2 is 0 0.48. So equilibrium, the partial pressure of NO2 is 0 0.48 atmospheres. What is going to be the equilibrium pressure due to NO? Because okay, some moles of NO2 got created, right? So if one mole of NO2 gets created, one mole of NO also gets created. So they will have equal number of moles. 0 0.48. So 0 0.48 he over here. So this means that there's an extra 0 0.48 that got produced over here. Or one ratio one, so there will be three moles come over here. Right? Is that clear? So 0 0.12? 0 0.12. Ha, B is 0 0.12. Da jayenge, hai? So the moles remaining at equilibrium will be 0 0.12 atmospheres. As I remember, wo, wo clear hai ke main, I'm, I'm treating pressure as moles. Because moles and pressure are directly. Yes. So I'm just treating the, the moles, ke karte, I'm doing exactly the same as with pressure. So 0 0.48 of this so, got Haji. So, this yeah, partial pressure is kind of a fraction of the like a uh, gas ka pressure divided by total pressure. No, no, it was. We got the partial pressure directly. Okay. That question was in the other one. Oh, sorry, the moles was in the other one. That question was in the moles, but total pressure given. So, you got the mole fraction into total pressure. Karta tha. So, then you got the pressure. So, this is the first pressure. Bhi de so, mm -hmm. wo, wo step is nahi because you already are calculating pressure. As anyways, so we, we figured out. Uh, okay. As we figured out, PNO that's 0 0.48 atmosphere, and we figured out uh, PN2O3 that's uh, 0. Point. So that's 0 0.12 atmosphere. So, agla jo. Question is uh, write the expression uh, mathematical define the following it's just minus log of h plus one right concentration k for weak acid uh so it's h plus one plus a minus one right which is that so the k for weak acid will be uh h plus one concentration into a minus one concentration and the whole thing gets divided by the acid concentration. Or it could be written as H plus 1 squared 
over the acid concentration. Or, uh, buffer solution, forget that. Uh, this one is again buffer, okay? Maybe we should have done it. Agla part of the buffer can not, okay? Remember, which is going to use the same expression. Um, maybe we calculate the pH uh, of ethanoic acid. So, let's just directly use the formula, which is H plus one squared over over the acid concentration. So K is already given. So that's uh, that means uh, one point seven five times ten power minus five, right? Uh, pH calculate karna, so you you have to find H plus one squared. The acid concentration is already given. That's zero point one mole per dm cube. So H plus one will be uh, what? You point one. Any 1.75 times 10 power minus 6, and you would have to under root it. So it's 1.75 exponent minus 6, and you would have to under root this. So it will be 0. Point. That's a 0. 0. 1. or uh, C2. And he's asking for the pH, so just take the negative log of this thing. So, sir, yeah. sir, is the concentration given at the directly minus log may say is pH Concentration given pH to pH H plus one concentration, what those acid concentration deviant. Okay, sir. Same as a more HX key concentration deviant. So, we have to use H plus 1. Is that clear? Yes. So, H plus 1 squared over acid concentration is given. So, acid concentration is given. So, H plus 1 is given. And that comes out to be 2.88. Uh, so, So, maybe was 2.88 all right, okay? That's my, that's my pH. Shallow so, TK. H, uh, H plus ki value I see 1.32 into 10 raised to power minus 3. Yeah. Pani shayad. So, do the fuck here, pata nahi. Nee, to ye hai hai na value. Maybe the way hai hai. So, 1 point, uh, oh, TK, TK, sir, aapne usko raised to power, TK, oh. sir. चलो ठीक है ये करते हैं कंटिन्यू नेक्स्ट टाइम नेक्स्ट टाइम हम वो आगे करेंगे सर बफर सॉल्यूशन इसके बाद है आम ना अमीना ये व्हाट्सएप पे ना मैसेज भी ऑन व्हाट्सएप ठीक है हाँ जी क्या चीज बफर सॉल्यूशन वो अगले वक्त करेंगे ठीक है ओके सर चलो ठीक है ओके ठीक है ये मैं वर्कशीट सेंड कर रहा हूँ ठीक है लाफ फेस अमीर सेंड मी अ मैसेज व्हाट्सएप 